Welcome, this is Gerson and this is tutorial for VMware EXSI Host 6.5. We are going to use it in this demo, uh, set up a host inside another host as a virtual machine in uh, ESSI's environment. Let's begin. First of all, we already have a virtual machine set for this purpose. That's here. And for now, we are going to show you everything. This is the settings for this virtual machine. Here we have 4 vCPU, 4 gigabytes of RAM, and 5 gigabytes of disk, and one network interface. This is more than enough. One very important step here is to come here in both options and check the next time the virtual machine boots force the entry into the build setup screen. So we are going to show you why is that. Now we are going to launch remote console. This is also very important because here you are going to access the image that is located in my computer. So we need to use this so we come here and then we mount connect the ISO that it is located in my computer. Here is the ISO. Then we came here and the boots and then we choose first one CD ROM and then hard drive and then we can reboot the virtual machine. It's, it's loading. That's it. Let's press continue and then F11 to accept and continue we are looking for data store here our virtual disk 5 gigabytes we select it, default US keyboard we are going to set a root password here that's it enter and then wait a little bit more and then OK F11 to install is setting up the, the files. Now it's very important here in reboot. The server is rebooting. Now this is the default configuration with GACP and EPv6 enable. We are going to press F2 and users root the password we set before. F2 again that's it. We are going to configure manage network. The last thing I'm going to show you later why we're going to do this. Okay. Here we have several options for debugging and configuration. Then here you can see some troubleshooting options like enable EXSI shell, SSSH. We're going to enable Nader and some others timeouts and restart the, the agents for the hosts. Here is very nice just here you can see the logs. This is his log and uh, this one next one is vkernel is very interesting. Here you can see all the information about these hosts. Here there is one page using evaluation mode. We have a second page here also. We are going to, to scroll it to page down that's it. Another feature we have here is to reset to the defaults is here and start from scratch all over again if it is necessary. Only then we are going to come and configure management network. Here we have just one NIC because IPv6 will be the last one is very important. Just one NIC. Well we don't have uh, any VLANs. We can come here and set for a static IP address for the EPv4. Here I'm going to set to IP for my network and press enter. Then we go to DNS, skip EPv6. Here are my DNS servers. Here we can add a fully qualified domain name or only the host name. If you will add it only the host name, 
we need to go to custom suffixes and add my domain name. Here it is. Only then we are going to come back here to IPv6 because we are going to disable IPv6 and if you choose this we need to restart not only networking but the whole host here apply the changes and reboot ROSC because we changed it to disable IPv6 we are going to accept and host will reboot press yes and it, it is rebooting here is the host again with all the configurations we already set okay here the static address and the name as you can see here now we are going to web interface is the brand new web interface is very clean is very fast VMware has done a very good job here then we are going to accept this click at the vest and accept this is here okay we're going to user we're going to use root and the password we set before okay here we are going to skip this is okay this we have the, the brand new interface you can see the many options in for the server now we have here uh, uh, basic stuffs get reset server you can create new virtual machines and shoot down and reboot and here in actions we have the same options and plus a few more here you can crawl the service like uh, enable SSH which we are going to do we are going to receive a warning it's okay it's here we are going to close this another option you have here is entry maintenance mode lockdown mode and permissions and generate support bundles here we have the hardware configuration that we said before you here you have image profile system informations about this host here you have the usage of hardware CPU memory and storage one when click here and manage we are going first one and the system here in the screens you can see here uh, advanced screens you can set directly here we can set also auto start here and then swap and then time we are going to enter here and set and edit settings you are going to add NTP servers here and also we are going to make the servers start and stop automatically and we are going to start the service which is now on the full is stopped here it's very important to separate the NTP servers with the comma then you click save that's it then I'm going to start the service which is already stopped it is here next time it we will start automatically here start okay very good and that's it it is running okay now I'm going to see the hardware this is all the hardware you can see in this machine you can see here with some capabilities of them several of them here here have power management you can change it also here licensee we're going to evaluate your mode so everything is enabled as you can see here is according to your license, license you buy here the packages that are the full already installed in this host is here the services which is, are running by the full you can start and stop the services here also very nice you can see here 
In here you have security and users. We are going to first one. Acceptance level. Okay, you can edit here also. Authentication. If you have already or not join your active directory, you're going to do this later. In another video. The server certificate you can see here. The users we already have, we have only root, we can add another users here. The roles, the default roles for the server. If the server is or not in lockdown mode, we can do this also here. Another thing you can change here, see here is the monitor. Here you can see many things in the status, the performance, you have CPU, okay, memory, network, disk, and changes, Carlos, etc. Here we don't have any management capabilities, capabilities enabled yet. It's also the same for our storage. Here the events that already occur on the server here you can see if this is okay this is the task that's already been done in the server these are the logs this is a very nice feature we can choose a log here from the server you can see several of them if you click here you can see the, the whole log here and also very nice, you can search inside this log for a particular thing that's happening. It's a very nice feature. Here in notifications, you can see that uh, SSH, which we already enabled, is marked here. In this host, we have no virtual machines yet. We have no storage yet. We have only networking. Let's show you the new networkings screens for this version. Here we have our port groups on our virtual switch. We have only standard VSwitch switch is default. Okay. Here is our virtual switch is VSwitch 0, two port groups, one plink and a V standard switch. Here is the physical NIC. We have only one to his MAC address and his status. Here are the VM kernel links. We have only management for the, for this moment with with its the full TCP stack. Here's management our our IP. Here we can see TCP IP stacks. Here everything we set we can change the things here and the firewall holes. We can just came here in the firewall hole, add firewall holes, and change firewall holes. This is very good. So, uh, here we can edit things. So, this is the end for the host installation. The next video we are going to come through uh, virtual machine installation. Thank you very much for watching us. See you in your next video.